We're talking Ruby Volume 9 spoilers. If you're not caught up, go get caught up and then come back, please. What is it like writing for a character like Neo? Very unique character. It's tough. <laughs> we knew that, you know, uh, along with all of Team Ruby and John kind of having their personal stories, we knew that we wanted to have a kind of personal one for Neo as well. Having her come face to face with some of her choices and decisions and, and things like that. And she's not exactly in the healthiest place no, mentally no. either. I mean, she's, yeah. you know, really, you know, focused on, on losing Torchwick. You know, all of that is, again, just getting exacerbated in the Ever After, just like it is for the other characters. Yeah. But she's off dealing it on her own. Neo's tough because yeah. we all really like Neo. Yeah. And but she's so mean. But she's also murdered and, yes. and is not a good person. <laughs> she's a chaos factor too. You know? But she also, if you read the amazing uh, book about her and Torchwick, came from a very hard life too. Yeah. So it's 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 this like really big balance of, of trying to do these things. So uh, you know, obviously she served you know as an antagonist for a lot of this volume. But again, I think good antagonists are flawed and complicated. And yes. you know, I think she's one of those. Offing Little Red can't be all you wanted. Right? In this episode, there's some weird twisted stuff with uh, the cat in particular. We a lot yeah, the cat. twisted yeah. is a good descriptor. Yeah. 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 So, Aaron, do you want to dive in any sort of like the, your approach to the cat for this episode? Because I mean, there's some strange things. Definitely going into body horror territory, <laughs> which the animation turned out worse in the best way that I can. <laughs> possibly yeah, so, imagine. So over the course of, yeah, eight, like eight, nine, and 10, you'll see some things. But you know, yeah, in eight, we had this crazy transformation in the start of it. And early on, we talked about this kind of like color palette swap. Right. Which is, I, I guess is kind of inverted. Yeah, it was inverted and then slightly tweaked a bit. Yeah. Art um, directed inverted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> as well and as Neo. Yeah, the additional like Neo effects, like the particle effects, yeah. in addition to some witchcraft from our awesome visual effects team. Yeah. So again, just kind of going into like the surreal territory. Yeah. I, I really love the way that the, we refer to as the Neo cat model, but the like Neo the way cat. that yeah. turned out. With, the, teeth know, the, the, the teeth and oh, the, the eyes, so yeah, the arms. Yeah. Which was actually going to have a, a slightly different look. I don't know if you want to talk about that. Go for it. At one point, it was concepted that uh, Neocat was going to have literal wheels for legs. Yeah. And that's how she was going to exit scene. Yeah. She just like reamed out of there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was like Acme. It, it, yeah. it was a little too far, too, yeah. too wacky, especially in this context of the scene, but uh, it still gives me a laugh yeah. thinking about it. We, <laughs> turbo we built it. Turbo, yeah. yeah, Turbo Neo. 